typical number of states accessible to a gas molecule. The result of the preceding problem permits one to estimate the mean energy of a gas molecule, such as nitrogen, at room temperature. Using the density and the known pressure exerted by such a gas, the mean energy of such a molecule was found to be about 6 times 10 to minus 21 joules. Use uh, this equation to calculate numerically the number of states with energy less than E bar accessible to such a molecule enclosed in a box having a volume of 1 liter. Consider a small energy interval 10 to minus 31 joules, which is very much smaller than E bar itself. Calculate the number of states accessible to the molecule in the range between E bar and E bar plus delta E and show that the preceding number of states is very large, despite the small uh, delta E. Okay, so uh, first we recall this equation uh, that is mentioned in the uh, text the number of accessible states with energies uh, less than E. So if you remember the energy levels of a, a gas molecule that is trapped in a container, uh, of a, in a cubic container, will be given by h bar square pi square over 2 ml square, nx square plus ny square plus nz square, where nx, ny and nz are numbers that go from uh, 1 to up to infinity are integers and these, this energy is basically just kinetic energy which is p squared over 2m h bar squared k squared over 2m and in number space we see that um, inside this uh, uh, 1 8 of a spherical region so in this octant of the uh, sphere we have a certain number of states with energies less than uh, E. Okay, so uh, therefore we find that the number of accessible states with energies less than E is one eighth of the volume of the sphere, four thirds pi r cube is the volume, where r, the radius, is given by square root of nx square plus ny square plus nz square so it is a pi over 6 uh, nx square plus ny square plus nz square to the power 3 over 2 so which is basically uh, the equation that is mentioned here the number of accessible states with energies less than e was given by pi over 6 L over pi h bar cube 2 me uh, to the power 3 over 2. Now it has a mean energy E bar uh, less than this mean energy E bar then this will be E bar. So uh, we have E bar is equal to in part A of the problem E bar is equal to uh, 6 times 10 to minus 21 uh, joules. Uh, the volume of the container is 1 liter, uh, which is basically 10 to minus 3 meter cube, because uh, 1 meter cube is 1000 liter, which is telling us that the dimensions of the cube should be uh, 10 to minus 1 uh, meters. Uh, the mass of the nitrogen uh, molecule uh, of a single molecule is the molecular mass 28 divided by Avogadro's number 6.02 10 to 23 so that would be 4.65 10 to minus 23 grams or 4.65 10 to minus 26 kilograms. On the other hand, we have h bar here. h bar is Planck's constant divided by 2 pi, which is uh, 6.63 10 to minus 34 uh, joule seconds divided by uh, 2 pi. And h bar value we find to be 1.05 roughly 
10 to minus 34 joule seconds. So we have everything we need. We can substitute this into uh, phi. So therefore, we will find that the number of accessible states with energies less than E bar will be uh, pi over 6 L over pi H bar cube. So L is 10 to minus 1. And then here we have pi H bar 1.05 10 to minus 34 uh, L over pi H bar cube multiplied by 2 mass of a single uh, nitrogen molecule 4.65 10 to minus 26 kilograms times the energy mean energy 6 times 10 to minus 21 joules to the power 3 halves so if you calculate this value the number of accessible states for energies less than e bar we find to be 1.9 times 10 to 29 Uh, part B of the problem uh, is basically asking us to consider a small energy uh, interval, uh, 10 to minus 31 joules, which is very much smaller than E bar. Calculate the number of states accessible to the molecule in the range between E bar and uh, E bar plus uh, delta E bar. Now, since the uh, number of accessible states for energies in the range uh, e bar to e bar plus delta e bar is given by density of states uh, multiplied by the energy interval delta e where the density of states is uh, the derivative of the number of accessible states with energies less than e with respect to e this should be evaluated at E bar. So if we perform this derivative d phi dE, uh, this is uh, basically uh, the derivative of uh, pi over 6. So if we remember what the number of accessible states was, it was uh, pi over 6 L over pi h bar cube 2 m e to the power 3 halves so that's the de uh, the derivative of this function that we need here so this will be equal to uh, because pi over 6 is not affected by this derivative l over pi h bar cube is not affected and 2m to the power 3 halves is not affected but we have energy here 3 over 2 energy to the power 1 over 2 so if i evaluate this at e bar this is e bar to the power 1 over 2 so you can see that uh, this is basically 3 over 2 times the number of accessible states at energy for energies less than e bar uh, but that that had uh, e to the power 3 over 2 so this one has 1 over 2 so i have to divide it by e bar so i have this result therefore if i calculate this the number of accessible states between energies e to e plus d delta e this is 3 over 2 uh, number of accessible states for energies less than E divided by the mean energy E bar multiplied by the energy interval delta E. So this is 3 over 2. 1.9 times 10 to 29 is what we found. Divided by E bar, which is 6 times 10 to minus 21 joules, multiplied by 10 to minus 34 uh, joules energy interval so this gives us for number of uh, accessible states in the range e bar to e bar plus delta e 4.75 
times 10 to 18. And in part C, uh, I would like to compare this with the um, I mean, I would like to assess if this number of states is large uh, or small because I have chosen a very small energy interval. So we find that 4.75 times 10 to 18 is still very large. Very large number of accessible states. Uh, despite the small energy interval delta E, which was 10 to minus 31 joules. Okay, so we want to evaluate the typical number of accessible states to, in a, for a gas molecule that is trapped in a three-dimensional uh, cubic box. Uh, so, we're considering nitrogen as an example at room temperature and we have the E-bar value that was uh, calculated using the density and the known pressure in the text to be 6 times 10 to minus 21 joules. Uh, so, we want to numerically e evaluate the number of states with energies less than E-bar accessible to such a molecule that is inside a 1 liter container. And when we have a 10 to minus 31 joules small energy interval, uh, we, we want to know the number of states accessible to the molecule in the range E bar and E bar plus delta E. And we want to show that this number of accessible states is quite large, uh, even though we have chosen a very small energy interval. So first I recall the energy levels of such a molecule inside a three dimensional box. Uh, that is given as, uh, because it's a free molecule, kinetic energy only, h bar square k square over 2m, where h bar k is the momentum of the uh, molecule, and uh, the k values are quantized, kx is an x pi over lx, etc. But here I have a cube, so uh, li is equal to l, because it's a cube. Uh, that I'm considering and these quantum numbers n start from 1 uh, and basically they're integers uh, so since nx square plus ny square plus nz square is equal to r square in the number space so this is my number space I can count the number of accessible states for energies less than e by looking at the volume of this octant that is defined by positive nx, ny, and nz. So that is one eighth of the volume of a sphere uh, where the radius is found as square root of nx square plus ny square plus nz square. And uh, basically, we obtain the result that is suggested in the text. And by substituting e bar, 6 times 10 to minus 21 joules. Volume is 1 liters and SI units 10 to minus 3 meter cube, which gives us, since the volume is L cube, uh, L of 10 to minus 1 meters, mass of one nitrogen molecule is molecular uh, mass divided by Avogadro's number, uh, and we find H bar, H divided by 2 pi. So we substitute these numbers and we find 1.9 10 to 29 number of accessible states for energies less than E bar. The number of states accessible to the system in the range E to E plus delta E is found by multiplying the density of states with the energy interval d phi d E delta E and d phi d E we can evaluate by uh, looking at this derivative which we found to be 3 over 2 the number of accessible states for energies less than E bar divided by E bar so if we substitute the values that we have found and for an energy interval of 10 to minus 31 joules we find 4.75 10 to 18 number of accessible states but that number is still very large despite the small energy interval we have chosen